Hi, I'm Daryl, and in today's video fit tip, I would like to discuss aging and advanced glycation end products. Advanced glycation end products, ages, as their name implies, ages speed up the aging process, but that's not all. These compounds are also directly linked to the cornerstones of chronic disease, inflammation and oxidation, and are implicated in the development and progression of diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, and more. Ages are a result of glycation reactions, the scientific term for sugar molecule binding to proteins or fats. Ages enter the body through the foods we eat, exogenous ages, and they can also be produced by our own metabolism called endogenous advanced glycation end products. Either way, you have the power to avoid them. Exogenous ages all have something in common. They are brown. They are found in the caramel hue of cola, the crisp shell of creme brulee, and the syrupy brown coating of barbecue sauce on a rack of ribs. This browning reaction, called the Malliard reaction in chemistry, is what causes caramelization. And caramelization is the visible effect of sugar molecules attaching to proteins or fats and creating ages. Endogenous ages manufactured by your body's own metabolic processes require one specific ingredient, sugar. Consuming sugar flips the switch to the on position of your body's own age production. And once that switch is flipped, either as the result of consuming sugar or by consuming foods that have undergone the browning reaction, the end result is inflammation. But the destructive reaction doesn't stop there. Not only do ages set the wheel in motion, they also push it along. Many cells in the body, like the sensitive endothelial cells that line your blood vessels, smooth muscle cells, and immune cells, have receptors for advanced glycation end products, known as RAGE. And when these receptors bind to ages, they accelerate the aging process and promote chronic inflammatory conditions, including arteriosclerosis, asthma, arthritis, myocardial infarction, or neuropathy. Now let's look at the research on six ways ages impact your health. One, ages increase inflammation. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation found that the consumption of foods rich in advanced glycation end products equated to higher blood levels of ages and a higher level of C-reactive protein and other inflammatory markers. Two, age damage is proportional to sugar intake. Research shows that the most age-related damage in the body is directly proportional to sugar intake. So if you reduce the sugar, you reduce the ages. Three, ages promote Alzheimer's. The amyloid proteins implicated in Alzheimer's disease are byproducts of the reactions which progress to ages. Four, ages are slow to go. Glycated substances are eliminated from the body very slowly. In fact, their clearance factor is only about 30%. This means that the half-life of an advanced glycation end product in the body is about double the average life of a cell. Therefore, long-lived cells like nerve and brain cells, long-lasting proteins like eye crystalline and collagen, as well as DNA, can accumulate significant damage over time. Metabolically active cells found in the kidneys, the retinal cells in the eye, and the beta cells of the pancreas, which produces insulin, are also at a high risk of damage by ages. Five, ages promote wrinkles. Experts believe that about 50% of skin aging is due to glycation process. Besides damaging collagen, sugar also affects what type of collagen you have. The most abundant collagen in the skin are type one, two, and three. Of these, type three is the most stable and long lasting, but glycation transforms type three collagen into the more fragile type one leaving you with skin that's less supple and more wrinkle prone. Six, ages damage the heart and blood vessels. Endothelial cells in blood vessels are directly damaged by the glycation reactions. Arterial plaque also tends to accumulate due to increased levels of sugar molecules and ages. Damage by glycation stiffens collagen in the blood vessels, which can lead to high blood pressure. The bad news is that these compounds can be very damaging to your health. And considering what they do to your skin, they won't help you look any younger. The good news, however, is that with a few simple steps, you can dramatically reduce your exposure to and production of these harmful health robbers. Here are four simple steps to reduce glycation. One, stick to a low glycemic diet. Reducing the sugar in your diet 
is the number one way to fight glycation. Consume a low glycemic diet to help keep your blood sugar levels stable and to help fight aging. Two, sweeten safely. Satisfy your sweet tooth safely with stevia and monk fruit. These sweeteners have a glycemic index of zero and do not undergo the browning reaction. Three, if it's brown, turn it down. Avoid highly caramelized foods, especially prepackaged ready meals. They have been found to contain high levels of ages. Four, get your Bs. Vitamin B1, thiamine, and vitamin B6 act as potent inhibitors of advanced glycation end products. Aim for one milligram per day of each. Good sources of vitamin B1 include grass-fed beef and liver, nuts, pasteurized pork and eggs. Good sources of vitamin B6 include grass-fed beef, pasteurized chicken, pork and turkey, as well as some wild fish. Remember, our choices today impact our health and wellness tomorrow. Choose a low glycemic diet and cook your food gently to help reduce the culinary compounds that can hasten aging and promote disease. If you have any questions about fitness or nutrition, please send me an email. You can find my email on our website at www.darylcont.com. I want to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.